The Apple Shill here. The iPhone 5S was released 4 years ago in late 2013, making it the oldest iPhone that supports iOS 11. The 5S came out running iOS 7, and such a phone happens to be a daily driver. So, the question is, what's it like to daily drive the iPhone 5S on iOS 7 in late 2017? Let's find out. Let's start with the performance, shall we? As you can tell, this thing screams on iOS 7. Let's start with an app launching test. As you can see, I'm launching a bunch of typical iOS apps here, starting with the cleared app switcher, and you can see that they launch quickly, smoothly, and take milliseconds to load. Even as the app switcher fills up, there's no signs of slowing down, and even the camera is ready to go right away. The 5S on iOS 7 performs just as well when you throw more demanding tasks at it. Apple Maps 3D runs smoothly and displays clearly, and it renders very quickly as well. When it comes to gaming, I'm not sure the 5S on iOS 7 could achieve the same graphics and frame rates as iPhone 8 or 10. However, what I can say is that games run extremely smoothly thanks to software hardware optimization between the 5S and iOS 7. Unfortunately, I only have Fruit Ninja on my 5S as I'm more of a PC gamer than mobile gamer. However, the game manages to maintain a constant, smooth frame rate, and any input I make happens instantly in-game. Web performance is a whole different story. iOS 7 runs an outdated version of Safari that was built for the web in 2013 and 2014, but not in 2017. As you can see here, Apple.com takes forever to load despite excellent performance elsewhere. Apple's homepage took nearly 20 seconds to load on iOS 7 versus a few seconds on iOS 11 iOS 7's ability to handle modern web content is a mixed bag. Many sites such as Craigslist and m.facebook.com work perfectly. Wow reacts only everyone. Sites that contain more modern content, however, such as Complex here, as well as Imgur, parts of Reddit, and many others, will either be all weird or fail to function entirely. The sites are basically unusable on the old Safari since developers prefer to go with the flow and leave what's old in the dust. Man, this really pisses me off though. Think of all the people who still use an iPhone 4. Now that you've seen the actual performance, what are the numbers like? This is a Geekbench result for an iPhone 5S fully updated on iOS 11. I mean, it's kind of what you'd expect anyways, right? These are not mine, by the way. These right here are my own results I got running iOS 7. While it doesn't come close to iPhone 8 numbers, iPhone 10 numbers, it's still a significant bit ahead of iOS 11 numbers. What's app support like on iOS 7? Well, let's find out. Starting out with the essentials here. Instagram works, albeit with limited functionality. DMs, full-size photos, and one-minute video uploads are still supported on iOS 7. Stories and multi-posts, however, are not. Facebook Messenger, unsupported on iOS 6 and earlier, still works at basic level on iOS 7. Don't expect to play any of its games, though. I was surprised I could log into Snapchat, which works with limited functionality. There are a lot of missing features, but at least I can keep my streaks going. Despite the latest supported version of the YouTube app being an older version, it's actually fully functional. You get user activity notifications, watch live streams, and interact with info cards. The YouTube app on the 5S running iOS 7 can actually play back 720p video at 60 frames per second, which is awesome. What about other apps? And are there any issues with app support? As you can see here, I've got a bunch of apps here that are fully functional. Some, like Hollister and UE Boom, I actually had to use a workaround to download because the latest supported version doesn't work. You can still get a full suite of iOS 7, iLife, and iWork apps except for GarageBand. Also, Passbook still works, and I use it often with the Tim Hortons app. There's also quite a few support issues. For example, Starbucks won't let you log in anymore, and MacLife Magazine will crash when you try to open it. Others, such as Google Photos, are just simply too new for iOS 7 to download. Furthermore, various apps often act weirdly, as shown here with Instagram. What are Apple services like on iOS 7 in 2017? For one, you're still getting basic iMessage functionality, which allows you to send and receive the messages just fine. 
FaceTime is still supported on iOS 7, and as you can see here, I can even call an iOS 11 device. There's an unfortunate lack of Apple Music support, which means I'm stuck listening to whatever I listened to back in 2014 when I first used this phone. Leave a like if you want to see me go through this. iOS 7 also lacks iCloud Drive support, which means that nothing besides iCloud Safari tabs syncs up to my Mac. I mean, at least everything syncs up to my iOS 6 devices, which, besides my iPod Touch 5th generation, I don't even use. Siri still works, although it's limited in functionality and sounds unnatural. As you can see here, it stays up to date with the most current information for the most part. It knows what PPAP is. It knows that Barack Obama isn't the President of the United States anymore. Nor does it think that my country is still being destroyed by Stephen Harper. Unlike newer versions, iOS 7 Siri uses Bing to search for stuff, so it might struggle to find what newer versions could find with Google right away. Sometimes, it might also give you the wrong information, such as a map of BC instead of Christy Clark's Wikipedia. Now that we've covered the iOS 7 software on the iPhone 5S, let me share my thoughts about daily driving 5S hardware in the age of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. Despite still being in production as a SE, the design looks old, but hey, at least it has an internal headphone jack, unlike the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. Camera-wise, we have an 8-megapixel Sony Exmor RS with the f2.2 aperture, 30mm focal length, 3rd-inch backside illuminated sensor, which is capable of recording 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p slow motion at 120 frames per second. Despite sounding like a potato on paper, this camera still manages to beat a lot of budget smartphones out there today. Any flagship smartphone released after the iPhone 5S, such as the Samsung Galaxy S5 and even the iPhone 6, managed to beat it. And of course, it doesn't come close to the camera quality of the iPhone 8 Plus, which as of the time this video was made, is the best camera on the market according to DxOMark. Photos taken in ideal lighting conditions aren't bad at all, but when lighting conditions worsen, they start getting grainy. So, can you still live with an iPhone 5S running iOS 7 in late 2017? The answer is yes. Despite a lack of newer features, it's still a very capable device on iOS 7. The app support is there, it's still okay, much better than iOS 6. The only issue with daily driving iOS 7 in late 2017 is probably security, so you wouldn't want to do your online banking or online shopping on it. But anyways, thanks for watching everyone. The Apple Shill is signing out.